Here we go again. Today, new video about painting. Because it's been a while. The past few weeks have been quite overwhelming. But I decided to paint again and paint this time for me. Because I realized that most of my paintings were for school and I really miss painting just fun things for me. So that's why this video will be about my comfort movie, which is Crimson Peak. It's not my favorite movie, because the scenario is a bit, well, Crimson Peak. <laughs> Still, it's one of the most comforting movie ever. I love the vibe, I love the actors, I love the costume, I love the, the, the theme of this movie. Like, I love this movie so much, and when I feel a bit down or when I want to feel like cozy during winter, it's my go-to movie. So when I saw this print on Etsy by Nightmare Fuel Art, I'm gonna link their Etsy in the description, I knew I had to paint Edith. Edith? Edith? In French it's Edith. 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 I really wanted to paint her in the first and of course the last scene of this movie, which is her in the snow covered in blood. I find this image so beautiful. So I took this picture of my TV in December 2022, so it's a long time ago, because I knew I had to do this. I'm gonna paint this image. On this canvas, it's pretty small, but I think it's gonna do the job pretty well, because I have only like two days to do this painting, so it's gonna be kind of a rush. The main issue here will be colors. <laughs> I may be wearing blue, but it's definitely not my color. I never painted blue. And the fact is that this image, when you see the red of her hand, it's actually purple. So it will be a lot of work to make the colors pop and make the colors relevant and fit the image and not using red, because you know me, I always paint in red. So it'll be an adventure and it'll be a very strong challenge to me. So yeah, I think we can go and suffer for two days. <laughs> Coffee. So uh, I started drawing the image, but then I realized that this is the right image and this is also the right image. But if I want to transfer the image on my Canva, it has to be upside down. I had to start again and this time I directly did it on tracing paper on the flipping side. And so I just had to put it over, trace the lines. And we'll be good. And that's what I'm gonna do right now. Okay, let's go. I'm stressed. Why am I stressed? Yes, it works. Okay. After tracing the lines, I went back with a pencil to try to put back some details that got erased with the tracing paper. So my design would look a bit more neat. So I take out some of the excess of pencil that could stay on the canvas so it would not like make a blob <laughs> when I put too much water on my canvas. So what I'm trying to do now is to make an under layer with Prussian blue. I think it would look nice. It's way too pigmented, actually. First of all, my drawing completely disappeared. I'm absolutely not on the verge of a mental breakdown. I guess I'm gonna add some beige and mix it with blue. Uh-huh. <laughs> and as you can expect, I started panicking and not knowing what color to start with and I eventually realized that I should start with highlights like three colors method but I was just stupid <laughs> And 
And now the biggest challenge is of course to work with highlights, shadows, to make something a bit round and to give life to a face and make it recognizable. It's the biggest part and it's the longest part and it's just building layers and layers of colors of different tones just to make sure to have the perfect round shape of the face. And then I had to work on the hand covered in blood and trying to understand color theory and the fact that yes, this is purple and yes, it looks red because of the blue around. Uh, it's really interesting, but it's also a lot of stress to make sure to have the right color. But in the end, you just go with the flow. Well, from far away, who doesn't? <laughs> The advantage is that she does not show skin, so I don't have much skin tone to work on. I think I'm gonna um, do a small break and then I'm gonna try to do the clothing and then after I'm gonna do the hair because I think it's totally the toughest part. I don't know if I'm gonna have time to do the hair uh, today, but I'm gonna try. And so far, I'm pretty satisfied with how it looks. Most of the time I'm not, but this time it's pretty okay. I think it's a good start. Mr. Noel Noel was the teacher in the school, giving a lesson one afternoon. Little Tommy Tompkins was the dunce and what a fool, didn't know which was the sun or moon. Teacher said to Tommy Tompkins, well, see if you can sing this while you spell. Well, um, things are getting pretty well, and I'm going pretty fast to make this painting, so I'm surprised <laughs> by how capable I am to make something like that. Uh, it's been so long since I painted a face and whole outfit and everything that I, I, I was absolutely not sure to be able to do that. And maybe, maybe I will be able to finish it today. I'm not sure, but it uh, would be very nice. I'm surprised. Very, very much surprised. When a bobby grabs him and said, sir, it seems to me you got a load on and ran him in. When the sergeant saw him, he said, oh, if you can sing this chorus, you can go. That's too yellow. I have some blue. It's crazy how yellow it looks while it's very blue on my palette. Looks pretty cool! Looks cool! I'm happy! And now the question is, how do I do the eyes? Huh. And I quickly realized that doing the eyes and the eyebrows were the toughest part because it was giving life to the portrait and it was not looking like her. And I was devastated and I spent so much time on the eyes and trying to make a shape that was relevant and that could look like her. It was crazy. But... I think I managed to do something, and I guess it's time for the reveal.
we are finished. Uh, what went well, what did not. Actually, I try this year to be more kind to myself. And I tried to tell me that I did a good job for a one day make. I thought I would take two days to make that and I'm very impressed by how fast I managed to do it. Maybe because it's a smaller piece or I don't know, maybe I'm just getting better. So I'm pretty happy with that and how this turned out. I think there's still stuff that I need to correct. Uh, I spent very long time trying to manage to make the eyes and I think it still does not quite look like her. I still hope it looks like Edith. I really hope it does justice to the character. But overall I and I tried to be proud of myself. The process was good. I think I'm getting better and I'm still proud of being able to do a face with acrylic paint so small and in such a short time. So yeah tell me what you think about this piece. Tell me what you think about this movie actually. I think that's everything that I have to say. If you like this painting, this video, or maybe even me, you can consider subscribing. It's free and it helps me a lot. <laughs> and I see you guys hopefully next week. Until next time, I send you guys a lot of love. Bye!